back to another vlog today is friday and i'm having a filming day who would have guessed we already know the drill that's happening today but i had a really fun idea this morning actually for a video that i did a year ago where i tried on all of my pre-quarantine jeans like i think it was a few months into quarantine at that point and so i thought like a year later might be funny because some of my jeans unfortunately have sold and like they've gone on to live other lives but some of them i kept and so i haven't worn them in months like months even maybe a year so it'll be fun to put those on and see if they still fit so i i'm gonna film that video today and then i think i think i'm going to film a video today that i have been talking about for a while and that is trying sewing for the first time i have so many little like thrift flip ideas and fun things that would just be so much easier if i just learned how to sew and i'm really not good at learning new skills i get really impatient and frustrated with myself but i'm going to try the only thing is i ordered a sewing machine and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to have it. But the only thing is it comes with like all of the tools. It comes with like the seam ripper and all these different things, but I'm not sure it comes with thread. And I didn't think about that until this very moment. I'm gonna have to order some thread. And if not, then maybe I could try the idea with fabric glue because I do have some of that. We'll see what ends up happening. It's like, you know, it's permanent. It's like machine washable and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, uh, just a typical Friday over here. I actually was supposed to FaceTime with Alexa here in a few minutes, but I was running really late, so we're actually gonna FaceTime tomorrow instead. And then tonight, we're actually having a game night with some of our friends, so that'll be fun. Just trying our best to stay connected, and there's a possibility we might have them come out here and visit pretty soon. Come stay with us and just like lay low and don't do anything, um, because they're being safe, we're being safe. We would obviously like quarantine and tests and all of that. Hopefully by then, we'll have our first round of the vaccine because if you saw last night well by the time I'm filming this it was last night that President Biden said that's the first time I've said President Biden I'm not like that excited I'm just excited to not say President Trump anyways he said that all eligible adults should be able to get their vaccine no later than May 1st so that's very exciting but anyways that's just a rundown of what's going on over here it's I don't know have you guys had people come visit i know it's like a pretty normal thing for small groups to get together like small like one other household type of thing but we haven't really done that that much in the last year so we're just trying to do what makes us comfortable but try to safely reintegrate into life because you know pretty soon here i mean by the end of the year we're gonna start seeing like shreds of normal life again and drew and i have like immense anxiety about it so we're trying to just like do things safely like you know go to costco go to Trader Joe's, double mask. These are things that like we could have been doing and a lot of people have been doing this whole time, but we've just had a lot of anxiety around it. And so we need to start kind of putting ourselves out there a little bit. What else is going on? Is anything new? Oh, we started a new show. I'll talk about that later, but you know how I love my British crime shows. So we'll share that in a bit, but for now we got work to do. Somebody is very much enjoying this day. I think the high today is like 68, so she is really loving life. Always have to make sure I fill up my water before I film because I mean, I talk a lot anyways, but especially when I'm filming, obviously. Imagine if I just sat there and turned on the camera and like did what I was doing, but didn't explain anything. So I always gotta have a full thing of water because I get very thirsty. But Drew just told me that there's a package at the door, so we're gonna check it out. Ooh, it's something for the real makeover! One it 
eternity later. All right, it's a bit later now. It's actually like 4.30. And right around this time for the last few days, Drew and I have been working out in the afternoon. I think I mentioned this like the other day or maybe in another vlog, I don't know. But I love my morning routine. But sometimes like if I've just showered the night before and I don't feel like showering immediately after or like if I have a bunch of stuff to do, doing like a workout and then getting ready on top of it can like stress me out a little bit. So, um, the weekend. Oh, sorry. It's the weekend. <laughs> I'm like forget you talk to people on the internet. It's the week. But uh, we've been working out in the afternoons and it's been quite nice. A little endorphins. Like, I don't like a nighttime workout, but I don't mind at like 4.30. It seems really dark outside right now. It's literally only 4.30, but it's been raining today, which is, you know, rare. And of course, it's not on a day where I'm like editing and can enjoy it. It's on a day when I'm filming and I can't even see. I have fresh clean hair and I'm about to sweat into it, but whatever. Me too. <laughs> so we are going to do a little workout. I think Drew's gonna do like a strength training. Why did I say that weird strength training thing? Uh -huh making fun of me now. And I think I'm gonna do the bike. Yesterday I did a um, like pony. It's I've talked about it before on my vlog channel and on my main channel. It's like a dance aerobics class. Um, I did that one yesterday, which was really nice. But I'm trying to, you know, switch it up so I don't get bored. So I'm gonna do a little cycling workout, maybe even a tune day workout, we'll see. Ooh. I'm gonna try not to get my hair too sweaty. I'm gonna pop these AirPods in. We're gonna do it. Are you doing, you're doing a Peloton, but just off yeah. the bike? Yeah. A strength training, as I said. My um, Tennessee tried to jump back out. Also, this workout set I got at Target <laughs> just before quarantine last year, actually. Those AirPods are better. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you had some work points that you could buy yours for free. I paid money no, for them. Oh, the oh, no, you need to do what you did when you bought them, when you came into our room. You were like, hey, guess what? And I was like, what? And you did. <laughs> he literally came in and he was like, hey, guess what? And I was like, what? And he just bought this Pokemon Pokeball cover for his AirPods. He got the AirPods Pro and you can't tell him shit anymore. Like he's too cool for me. Anyways, and he walked in and he was like, <laughs> So anyways. I didn't do that. Well, yeah, you did. As I was saying, this set is from Target. I got it last year, just before quarantine, and I completely forgot about it. And it was in my giveaway pile, and I don't she remember has it in why. Red, in purple, in yellow. No, this is Target, not girlfriend. <laughs> Roasting me. I think that I was afraid that I had too many workout clothes and I wasn't like working out, but now that I am, it's nice to have more. So anyway, let's do this thing. I'm gonna do a 20 minute tune day 90s ride. So let's freaking go. She's already going so fast and I'm not even on the bike. Great job. Tune trying to kill me. I normally do not like working out with makeup on by the way, but we're FaceTiming later or Zooming, so I don't really feel like taking it off and then putting it back on, but it feels gross. In case you were wondering, yes, it does feel gross. Drew's already in the shower. I like always need a few minutes to cool down. He said his workout was really good. I can like, I feel like my arms are sore and we didn't even do any arms. Crazy. Today is the best. Oh my God, my eyes been twitching for like two weeks. If you can see that, please forgive me. She is the best, but who? she is tough. She is tough. I'm gonna cool down. Rinse off and make some dinner. Pop in Friday night over here. All right, we are showered, we are dry shampooed, and we are feeling somewhat back to normal. I wanted to show you, hello? I wanted to show you a little shower tool I got. Oh, I don't wanna close that because our gym clothes are in there actually. This is a weird angle, but we're just gonna go with it. If you didn't see the blog where I talked about my baby foot peel experience, baby feet peel experience, I was really disappointed because it peeled skin off of like my entire foot except like my really calloused parts. It didn't make my feet soft underneath at all. I guess I just have really calloused feet. So I can't remember who I saw talk about this but I bought it on Amazon. It's terrifying. It is a literal stainless steel foot file and 
whoa it looks terrifying it's really gross to talk about i have sanitized it so don't worry but if you struggle with calloused feet like if you wear sandals or if you walk around barefoot all the time like me then you probably have or if you're if you're an arizona kid who grew up walking barefoot on the rocks like me then you probably have calloused feet and this thing is no joke it will literally take your skin off like it is no joke. I cannot stress enough how no joke it is. Like you can't even use pressure. You barely have to touch it to your foot, but I used it last night for the first time. I bought it a couple weeks ago. I'll link it down below for you. I just got it on Amazon. It, oh my God. It's intense. Like I didn't notice, there were some people who said that they noticed a lot of like shedding. I didn't, I just did it in the shower. I waited until the very end of my shower. And then I did not use any pressure. When I tell you no pressure and it's like, I mean, I definitely have a ways to go, but it's the best my feet have looked in a really long time. And I know that's probably kind of gross to talk about, but honestly, I am so shook. I cannot recommend it enough. If you're like me and are trying to avoid going to the nail salon as much as possible, or you just don't like going and you want to do it yourself at home, highly recommend, but I am telling you, use caution like you cannot use this on any part of your body that isn't calloused or it will take your skin off and i'm not kidding okay anyways we are gonna head downstairs and make a hello fresh tonight it's actually one of our favorites it's this like butternut squash ravioli and oh my god it's so good oh my dish from breakfast is still on my nightstand <laughs> so i forgot to show it but we just finished our dinner it was delicious and now we're cleaning up getting ready to do our game night and i'm excited but I meant, as I talked about earlier, I meant to tell you all that we've been watching a new show. We started a new show. I don't know, what is it even on? Amazon? Amazon. Yeah, we had to buy it. It was like the most, one of the most requested shows when I asked, probably like, I don't know, over the summer. As you all know, I love my British crime shows. Yes, my eye is still twitching. <laughs> I love my British crime shows and I've gotten Drew really like severely into them as well and we've watched like every single one, not every single one, but we've watched a lot of the good ones. We decided to try a new one called Happy Valley, which a lot of people were recommending. It used to be on Netflix, it's not anymore, so we just bought the season for like $10. When you play it on Amazon Prime, it says Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> that was, we, we started, we paid for it on Prime and then it was like Netflix original and we were like, it's been really good so far. We actually really like it. The episodes are a full hour, like they're pretty long. What we didn't anticipate, last night it happened twice. That was, was that the second or third episode? Or maybe the it second and the, the third? second and the third, I believe. There was a jump scare. Ugh. We were not anticipating it. The first time it happened, we were both just like, holy shit. And then we like looked at each other and we were like, oh, that was so scary. Like the ones that like take you a second to get over, like you're still like shook. It happened again in the next episode. And I was like, I don't like that. I literally screamed. Remember? I was like, why? I hate it. But the show itself is really good, really intense. So if you're interested in another British crime show and you've seen them all like me, check it out if you are a british person and you've watched it let me know your thoughts don't spoil anything we're only halfway through the first season but we don't get to watch that tonight so i am sad well i mean maybe later but um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna decide what we're gonna drink we have about 30 20 minutes so i'm deciding between we have some beer in the fridge we don't have wine unfortunately which is the saddest day of my life but we do have some margarita. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, is this the Costco one? Remember, we got so drunk off of this at your at your mom's. Yeah. Yeah, Costco. Or at at your sister's house. Yeah. And we were spraying each other in the pool. We had like a water gun fight in the pool. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my god, you were mean to me. You bullied me, and I like almost cried. I got your face You were purposely being a jerk, and like we we didn't get into a fight, but I was just like, you're being mean, and then you were like. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you were spraying me directly in the face. We also have Tito's, so I could do like a little um, Moscow Mule situation, but I don't know if we have any limes. We have crystallized ginger, we have some dark rum, left over from Drew's birthday, um, and he could make a dark and stormy. We have brandy, which I'm not drinking. Oh, we have a lime. We do? Oh, it's really hard. Uh, I, I think it might be plastic now. Oh. And then we have a bunch of our Fever Treat ginger beers. So if we decide to do a Moscow Mule, we can't have lime in it, which is sad. So I'm thinking margarita, maybe? Without lime juice, you know? 
not great. Looking like we're gonna crack this baby. I wish I had thought about it and put it in the fridge, but we can chill it and add ice, it'll be fine. I just made myself my margarita, but I realized I didn't film it, so here I go. This is what I did. I poured some ice and the margarita in the shaker. I shook it, put it in this cup. There we have it. Cheers. What do you got, bro? All right, and it is now 11 p.m. It is four hours later. What the hell? Come up here. Come on, you don't have to cry. In case you're wondering why we keep our bed on the ground now, it's for this. Oh, for my big girl. And plop. There we have it. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and we'll see you in the next one. Good night.